Hi everybody, we're going to do a little Armory gift guide. Um, if you are like me and you've left all of your Christmas shopping to the very, very, very last minute, uh, this might be the guide for you. You know, you're thinking, well, how do I get a good gift for my loved one, for my friend, and so on and so forth? Um, you know, my number one rule for when you're buying a gift for someone is it should be something that they would love to own, but they never wanted to spend the money on it themselves. I think that's like the ultimate kind of gift criteria. Failing that, there are also many other things you could keep in mind as you're trying to buy a gift for somebody. So, you know, it's something that maybe is immediately relevant and immediately usable, right? Like if you give someone, say, a bespoke suit, obviously that's great, but you can't use it immediately. You know, it takes a little time before that's actually usable by the person. Um, also, you know, items that are very specific to the person's taste, you know, gives the sense that you really thought about what this person likes and so you picked something that's exactly suited to like his interests. I think that's a very touching gift as well. Um, I think right now, given a lot of us are on lockdowns, working from home, uh, and also the weather has cooled down, even in Hong Kong, it's quite chilly. Uh, it's nice to get something that's a little bit soft, a little bit fluffy, you know? I mean, like this, what I'm wearing right now, for instance, this is the Armory's um, shawl collar cardigan. We do it in cashmere and we do it in lamb's wool. And I think this is like a great home item, you know, like you can just slip this on and lounge around for the rest of the Christmas break and you would be very comfortable in it. It would keep you very, very warm. But you know, if you wanted to wear it out and use it as your like jacket layer when you're outside, it's a great item for that use as well. All right, let's have a look at a few other gift suggestions that we have for you today. Um, I arranged this in no particular order, uh, but let's start from here. So these I particularly like. Um, these are Andreas 1947 scarves. And the Andreas 1947 scarves are done on these beautiful old cashmere shuttle looms. Well, shuttle looms that are specializing in very fine cashmere. And the result is a scarf that is just so soft and it has such a lovely handle to it. Um, this is a solid color one. They also do more complex designs like this. So this kind of blue and mushroom um, diamond and stripe pattern. And they also do really interesting prints. So this is like a beautiful flower print pattern. A couple options for you from Andreas. This is, um, this was like an Armory classic. And this is something that a lot of people ha definitely enjoy getting as a gift. Uh, Patanova is a Chinese, well, Hong Kong based um, cufflink brand that we've worked with for a long time. And they actually made these for us. So these are the Armory's lapel chains. The idea is that this little chain goes through your lapel hole pocket and it's a little decoration in your lapel. This is the last we'll see of these particular designs. Um, unfortunately, the old gentleman, the old craftsman who used to make these is retiring. And so we asked him, please, as a favor, like before you retire, can you just make another 50 and that's it. We'll never get these back again. So if you've always kind of had your eye on these designs or you know that your friend or your loved one had an eye on this design but never quite pulled the trigger, now might be a good chance. All right, that's the Patanova lapel chains. Got a few Drake's ties. Um, if you're an Armory fan, if your loved one's an Armory fan, like these are uh, special ties that we did for our 10th anniversary. So Armory Rep Stripe, these are in our colors of burgundy and gold. Um, Armory Shantung in navy, and then Armory Silk Twill in navy with a burgundy line and with a gold line respectively. Um, if you have a friend who likes a bit of a drink, these are great. Ettinger hip flasks. And actually, if you are in Hong Kong, uh, next door to our store in the Landmark is a wonderful store called the Whiskey Library. And the Whiskey Library has an incredible selection of spirits and you can use those spirits in these flasks. So make for a great combo. So check that out as well. Uh, our friends in, let me get that out of the way. Our friends in Scotland at Anne Ordain made a special enamel dial watch for us. So this is the Armory's Model 1 uh, collaboration watch with Anne Ordain. It's an enamel dial made in Scotland in our exclusive colorway, which is kind of like an off-white with navy lettering. And you know what's also nice about this? Um, the case, actually. It comes in this great case that you can use to store two watches. And it's, I guess, because it has this nice case, it feels a little bit more complete as a gift. You know, like there's more kind of gumpiness to it. So keep that in mind as well, Anne Ordain Model 1 watch. 
Now we're looking at the shawl collar cardigans. Obviously I'm wearing the gray one here. This is gray cashmere. We also do it in navy cashmere like this. And we also do it in an orange lamb's wool like this, which is lovely. Like nice and thick and full. And uh, I treat it like a jacket. Um, so, you know, I'm happy to just wear this out, uh, but obviously it feels great at home. Uh, as for other soft and fluffy things, we've got these. These are our cashmere watch caps. Um, we call them the Zisu caps after Steve Zisu in, um, oh man, Sam, what's that movie? The Wes Anderson one. All right, well, the Wes Anderson one, this was the one that um, was very famous in, in the movie. And uh, they're great, actually. I actually surprisingly wear these a lot at home because when my hair is grown out a little bit and I don't want to comb my hair, I will just wear this around to keep the hair out of my eyes. And it actually keeps you pretty warm. They're really great, come in a lot of colors. Keep that in mind as well. Finally, uh, for the bookworms among us, a couple of really great books to recommend as Christmas gifts. This one is for our dear friend, Bruce Boyer, who put together this book about Gary Cooper. Um, Gary Cooper's Enduring Style. It is a great overview of like Gary Cooper's life and how it tied into his personal style. And also a lot of unseen photos of um, Mr. Cooper at home and just about town. Great book, check it out. Uh, here's another one, Yoshimi Hasegawa's Italian Tailoring. Um, so she did this alongside uh, Vitali Barbera's Canonico, the great Italian mill. And it is an overview of all of the great bespoke tailors, or not all of us, well, almost all the great bespoke tailors in Italy. Uh, really detailed, really interesting to hear their stories and a great gift for any tailoring enthusiast. Finally, this is one of my favorites, Japanese Dandy Monochrome. Um, so this is a portrait book. If you are a fan of photography, I mean, this is really like a masterclass of portraits. The portraits themselves are beautiful. And on top of that, like the gentlemen, their style, their outfits are really quite inspirational. Um, so if you're a photography fan or if you're just a fan of fashion and style in general, this is the book for you. Check it out. All right, finally, uh, porter bag. Surprisingly, people are um, really into buying bags right now. Like despite the fact that maybe not everyone is going out as regularly as they used to, a lot of people have taken this as a good, good time to upgrade their bags. And the Porter is probably our best seller right now. Not even probably, it is our best seller right now. Um, a lot of pockets, water resistant, very easy to use. And uh, it's been a stalwart of our store for many, many years. We do it in a bunch of colors as well. So check that out. It's the Porter Traveler's Briefcase. It's a collaboration exclusively with us. Finally, um, I thought let's also look at a few non-armory items, just because there's a few items that I've really enjoyed owning this year. And uh, you know, maybe you don't want to get them clothes or anything on the table, like check these out. Uh, so firstly, we have the Loop System Loop. Um, actually, we do sell this, I'm sorry. Uh, the Loop System Loop is the brightest and clearest loop on the market right now. Uh, it is not cheap, but it is well worth the money. If you are someone who enjoys watches or needs to look at things with great magnification and great clarity, this is such a lifesaver. It is so much more comfortable to use than any other normal loop. So I highly, highly recommend it. We have them available on our website and in store. Okay, now to finally move on to like stuff that I've been having a good time with this year that I kind of would recommend to anybody as a gift. Start with this, the Ricoh GR3 um, this has been my go-to camera for almost two years now, because this camera came out about a year and a half, for I think about two years ago now. Uh, I, I put this like climbing accessory strap on it because I couldn't quite find the right strap to go with it, but I quite like it like this. This is a great camera. If you are a photography fan, especially if you are a street photography fan, um, the Ricoh GR is discreet, it's fast, but the lens on it is amazing. Like it's got a beautiful way of rendering a scene to it. And the sensor is actually not a tiny sensor, it's a crop sensor. So it's about the same size actually as the sensor in the camera that is shooting this video right now. The image quality is really beautiful. Like probably the best you can get from such a small device. Um, highly, highly recommended to anybody who is a fan of cameras. If you've been on the fence, like don't wait. It's totally worth it, totally worth the plunge. All right, Ricoh GR3. Um, you know, given that a lot of people are at home a lot 
And I know a lot of our customers are actually like watch collectors and watch enthusiasts. Something that I've really, really enjoyed myself with is having a good macro lens. And uh, the one that I've kind of settled on for now is the Sigma 105 millimeter 2.8 macro. Um, great lens, really like not expensive at all for what it is. And just like a beautiful image, very clear, great clarity. Uh, I highly recommend it. You know, it's a great thing to get, get as a gift right now. You know, macro lenses are not something that people automatically jump out to buy. And so if you have a watch enthusiast or a camera enthusiast in the house, like that can be the gift for them. Finally, last, last, last one. Um, I love headphones. I have been an Etymotic fan for a long, long time. Etymotic made these like very neutral to the point of almost like mm, not that necessarily exciting headphones uh, called the ER4s. And they updated that design with something called the ER4XR, which is basically like a slightly warmer, more bassy version of that, which I absolutely love. And finally, this year, after like, I don't even know how many years of waiting, they released a Bluetooth module to go with it. So finally, the ER4s can be free and untethered. Um, I absolutely love these, and the Bluetooth module is good. I will say that with a little bit of a caveat, because you know what, for music, uh, it's amazing. Like the noise floor is super low, it's got just the right amplification for the headphones, so everything sounds fantastic. Uh, but the battery life is nothing to write home about, and ergonomically, it definitely has a few issues. But if you are just about listening to great quality music on really great headphones, like this is a great choice. The Etymotics with the ER4 XRs, or even the ER3s or the ER2s, they're also great choices. Um, a great choice for any music lover. Alrighty. Um, well, that's it for the Armory's gift guide, as long as a few other gifts that are not from the Armory. Um, if you have any other suggestions for good gifts, please feel free to leave a comment in the section below. And happy holidays to everybody. Thanks for watching.